Hello, day six. Day six of the Social Media Social Good Advent Calendar. Thank you for making it this far with me. Don't forget, carry on the discussion using the hashtag AdventSMSG. Put some comments in the box below this video or the box of my blog. I hope you follow the hashtag on Twitter or, or on the blog. It's in both places. Right, day six. Day six, my topic is smartphone video, the camera in your pocket. I'm a very big believer that smartphones are great storytelling tools. When was the last time you saw a smartphone advertised that it makes great calls? Doesn't happen, does it? There was a survey done about a year ago which said the fifth most popular activity on a smartphone was making calls. I saw a survey, an American survey, a few weeks ago which said that only 3% of teenagers actually use their phones for calls. People don't use phones for calls anymore, you know, they, they use them for all sorts of other things. And one of the things they use them for is taking videos. You know, the Instagram video, Vine videos. But actually, you know, if you just use a native camera app on your smartphone, most of the latest smartphones made in the last three, four years will take fabulous HD video. But you know something. A lot of people don't know that. And you know why? They do something which really, really gets on my nerves. And you know what that is? They hold their camera the wrong way up. You know, they hold their camera like that. And if you hold your camera like that, you know the videos that have long black lines down them, down the sides, and they look like somebody's peering through uh, an upturned letterbox? Well, that's how you take those sorts of videos. That sort of video you want, then do it like that. <clears throat> That's unless you're doing Vine or Instagram videos, which require you to have your phone turned that way up. But if you're using a native camera app and you want to put your video on YouTube or somewhere like that, then, little tip, just do that. That way you will get fabulous HD video. Fills the screen, 720p, 1080p, technical terms for HD video. You need to know what they mean if you don't want to. But it's about HD video. Smartphones will do great HD videos if you just turn them on the side. So I think the, f the ability to do HD video makes a smartphone a fabulous storytelling tool. And you know the other thing about a smartphone is, it's the camera you have with you. There's a, there's a saying, the best camera you have is the one that's with you. And I advocate people using smartphones for digital storytelling because... If you have to run back to the office and get your professional camera kit, you might miss the story. And that would be a tragedy. So it's the phone that's in your pocket. The camera that's in your pocket is the best one for you to use. So, you know, there's things you need to do to make sure you get the best quality, make sure the lighting's good, make sure um, sound. You know, the thing about sound is, if you can, use an external microphone. If you can't, get as close to the person you're talking, you're interviewing or who's in the video as you possibly can. Because, you know, the microphone is built into the phone. So, you know, microphones are really only designed, most microphones are only really designed to take um, voices a few inches away. I'm actually recording this on my iPad, you know, which is the same sort of camera as a smartphone. Um, and I'm not using an external microphone, but I'm this far away from it. Well, there you are. I'm this far away from it, so I'm trusting the microphone to pick up what I'm saying pretty well. And I'm in a quiet room. So that's the other thing. If there's lots of background noise and you take video on your smartphone, you'll pick up all the background noise if you're just using the internal mic. So if you want to get, get um, if there is background noise and you need to interview somebody or hear them talking, try and get them somewhere quieter. Take them into a side room. Take them to somewhere quieter. And the other thing you need to remember if you're doing video on a smartphone is... External noise, like particularly if you're outside. If you're outside, even the slightest little gust of wind can cause buffeting on the microphone. And there's an easy way around that. Um, you can buy one of those fluffy things or sponge things that you put on microphones and it will stick on the end of your smartphone. It will stick on the end of the smartphone like that, just, just like that. But here's a little tip. If you haven't got one of those, a glove or a sock will do exactly the same thing. Um, and it will stop the wind buffeting on your microphone. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to use the hashtag AdventSMSG to keep on the discussion. And let me see 
If Take some great videos on your smartphone and then show them to me. Send me a link. Put a link in the comments or just tweet me a link. Um, I want to encourage everybody to make but smartphone videos. It's the future. Okay, so thank you for watching. That's day six. Tomorrow will be day seven. That'll be a whole week gone by. So thanks for watching.